Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So inside this box is a very special watch. Now I have restrictions, I have lighting conditions that mean I, if I want to do an okay video, I have to shoot this video at two in the afternoon till 4 p.m. And this is not the optimal time. This is nighttime, guys. So the lighting's not going to be very good. And for the close-up shots of the watch, I'm going to assume that the camera is picking this up. It may not be. But remember, this is more an experience rather than an in-depth review of the watch. Because if you want to look at this watch in detail, there are hundreds of videos on, already on YouTube about this particular watch. But all I want to do is share with you guys my reasoning on why I bought this particular watch. It's simple as that, isn't it? Now, I also want you to get the thrill of this. And I want you to be with me because I'm going to make the final decision live on this video, whether I'm keeping this watch or not. And one of the problems with this decision was I had a very good quality watch supplied to me by JJB Watches. I really liked that watch. And I was comparing the Spectre to it when the Spectre arrived and that, was, that wasn't a good idea. Even though they're the same watch, they're not. And there's nuances that I'm about to share with you that make the Spectre the most killer 300 ever that has ever existed and will ever exist and when i share these three things with you you're going to go you little shit bag you knew all the time you were going to keep that watch <laughs> i did <laughs> i scored big guys now are you ready to learn something really good and really really why you buy this Beckon watch above other watches. So let's go on this journey together. Let me just crack this. Oh, something else happened by the way. I've got to tell you this. I don't know whether to back down on this one. The angel in me is going, get over it. But the devil in me is going, get him, Brenny. It's your job, Brenny. Your job is to get people and show people up to be the assholes they are. So I'm going to tell you half the story. When this watch arrived, Whoever pre-packed it was a little shit bag, a lazy shit bag. They sent me this watch on a short bracelet, 18 mil bracelet according to them. They couldn't close it, so they just left it in the box and sent it to me. Now, I know that all they had to do was there's a pillow and it has an outer pillow and you just pull it away and then the watch could have been secured in place, watch finder. It could have been done properly and then you would have had the outer bit and, then, it, and then, then you would have had to put that somewhere else. But at least my watch would have been flopping around inside the box. But something else happened. And this, this is where I've got to think about WatchFinder. When I contacted WatchFinder, they acted like it was nothing. And they acted like it was an 18mm bracelet. What do you expect? It's, it's as advertised. Well, WatchFinder... You're dealing with the Brenny show here. And don't you think Brenny keeps records and evidence about purchases and information about a watch before he buys it? And people have may or may not have amended things to suit their narrative. But remember, when you tell the truth, you don't have to have a good memory. When you lie, you've got to have a very good memory. So I'm still thinking devil, angel, I don't know what to do, watch finder. But you piss me off. Right, back to the watch. There's three things about this watch that makes it stand apart from any other watch. Are you ready for this? Did you know that this watch is a GMT? Number one, this is a GMT. This is a dual time zone watch. It is. It's not advertised as GMT though, is it? You didn't know it was a GMT, did you? 
it's a poor man's GMT, number one. So we've got that right. Rennie just bought a poor man's GMT. Number two, the loom. The fucking loom on this watch. What Omega has done, I'm going to show you on this watch. Light time. We've still got a flipping light up there. That's not going to work, is it? Right, let me try and do it over here then. Right, you see the loom is it's the same on the hands as it is on the dial. Well, a lot of the new Omegas, they've gone with two colours, right? But not the Spectre. The loom on the Spectre is all one colour. So, the loom is just fabulous on the Spectre. So, Brenny's just bought a 300 with an even loom. A sandwich dial with an even loom. That's number two. And number three, this watch is associated with the Spectre movie, the coolest fucking Bond movie ever made. It's a fucking Spectre. This watch is so cool. Ed Sheeran has this watch and he loves it. He loves his Spectre. And I'm just gonna add a fourth one to this because this watch has got so much going for it, but this is nothing to do, this, this could be any watch. This is a, a NATO strap monster and then look, if what Artem have sent me, they've already gone and sent me 21 mil NATOs to go with this watch. And, and the Artem, no time to die, is stupendous. It's glorious. It could be the nicest NATO strap ever made. And then this is the Artem Black Bond, which is currently on this watch. And it is stupendous. It's absolutely stupendous, Artem. And Artem from Adelaide in Australia. And you saved the day again. I have to say that um, I went to London um, yesterday and I was wearing an Artem NATO strap without a watch. I was wearing it as an accessory. Can you believe that? Now look at that. Isn't that just gorgeous? So can you imagine my new Spectre on this NATO strap. Right, now, without further ado, let's open the watch. So a lot of people are gonna look at that and go, it's just a 300, but I just told you that it's not a 300. So first, let's look at this, let's look at this loom. But to do this properly, we're gonna have to try and turn off all the lights. So this is gonna, this is gonna go arse up. So I'm going to reach over here, I'm going to turn this light off, okay, and then, oh, look at the colour of that loom. And I'm going to turn this light off. Right, and I'm going to look up here to see the camera's picking it up. So I'm now standing up. So do you understand why I bought the Spectre guys and why I bought the Peter Blake? I mean Omega, I mean your watches now, they don't hold a candle to these, let's come down here. Look at these, Peter Blake and Spectre, two brothers together. Let's get the lights back on, let's get the light back on. So you're with me on this, right? So we know why the Spectre is so good, the loom. Now, I said it's a GMT and nobody talks about this. Okay, in the comments you're gonna go, oh, I knew it was a GMT, you're not telling me any more. Now, I always get this wrong and some smart ass in the last video said, it's not bi-directional, it's unidirectional. <sighs> Who gives a shit? For me, if you buy, you swing both ways, don't you? If you're uni, you swing one way. As in hetero. So, I'm hetero, by the way, just so you know. Um, so, for me, it would be, buy would be this way. Maybe I've got it wrong. I don't give a shit, right? Now, so, what I'm trying to say to you is, the re if James Bond 
was wearing a watch, he wouldn't be wearing this watch. James Bond, he might be Commander Bond, but he's also a secret agent who travels all over the world. And this secret agent wants a poor man's GMT. And what he'll do is he'll do that, won't he? For one time zone. Or he might be going the opposite way. He might be going that way. Or he might be going to Adelaide in Australia. And he might be going 12 hours behind. Whatever. So it might be 8 o'clock here and it might be 11 a.m. in Adelaide. Now, do you understand? So that's two reasons why I bought this Spectre. Because the dial is actually another time zone. Isn't that incredible? So the Spectre is a GMT. Do you see GMT wrote anywhere on the description for a Spectre? Now remember the third reason it's steeped in history. Bloody, bloody, blah. Right, now. I was a bit taken aback by the bracelet. And the bracelet is matte finish. Now, one good thing about a matte finished bracelet is it does, it's not a scratch monster and you could refinish it yourself really easy. And I've just got to get my head around matte polished. And I look back through the videos of my 300 and, and it, it didn't look any better once I looked at it. So I've got over that shock. Now, I want to show you one last thing. Now, you have to forgive me because I think that the standard 300 does this as well. And I've never done this before. You open the watch like so. You pull it out one. Now, do you notice the, the nothing's happened? I've pulled it out in the first position and nothing's happened. See, the, the watch is still working. That's because it has this. Are you ready for this, guys? Watch. Look. You can jump forward and back one hour. Is that, isn't that incredible? So, if you weren't flying a plane and you had your hands free, you could two time zone this a different way, couldn't you? You could say, well, right, I'm going, I'm going two hours behind, so now I'm in the new country, but you've still got your time there, haven't you? Does that make sense? You're with me on that. So it, 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 you can do it two ways with this watch. That is, that is the absolute beauty of this watch, and you don't affect the time, right? So I might be a mad Irishman ranting and raving, but the Spectre is a very special watch, very special watch. And, and I'm keeping it. I was always going to keep it. Was I? Was I going to keep it? Now I could say in the description, you guys tell me, do I keep this sticker on or do I rip it off but then that would be leaving it to morons to decide wouldn't it this watch is staying in the collection now I haven't pulled the sticker off for one reason because I'm enjoying the the will I won't I pull the sticker off game. <laughs> it's my new game. <laughs> will I or won't I pull the sticker off? That sticker is only there because I haven't pulled it off yet. This watch is just a piece of history, guys. And I and I and I hope I've hel helped you. Now I'm going to check my notes. Sandwich dial, yada yada yada. By the uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I managed to cover everything in this, um, and this watch is just. Have I put it on the wrist? I haven't put it on the wrist, have I? Sorry, guys. 
What a glorious watch. Absolutely glorious watch, guys. From a fantastic movie, Spectre. Have you seen Spectre? If you haven't, you should go and watch it. It's probably... I would say Skyfall is the best. Um, I thought the latest one... I wasn't impressed. I thought um, Freddie Mercury was pretty much terrible in the movie. I should do a video review channel. It would start with, this movie is shit, and it would end with, this movie is shit. But yeah, I think Spectre and Skyfall. Skyfall is an amazing movie. No, hang on a minute. Right, I like Spectre, and I, I think Skyfall is the best, isn't it, guys? Skyfall is a great, great movie. Isn't that fantastic? So, yeah. In case you're wondering what this whole thing is, this is called a Peter Blake. <laughs> Loads of videos on that. Thanks for watching. I hope this video wasn't too boring. Not. Catch you on the next one.